Hey guys, welcome to PBR. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. You know, a lot of bad stuff happened this week, but we're strong human race and we're going to get past it. We're going to find a way to cope. But I was thinking a lot and I was thinking about all the loss that happened and the thing that hurts the most is the love loss. Just think about yourself and how many people you love and then think about all the people that love you and then just multiply that by how many people we lost this weekend. All those people had tons of people that they loved and that loved them and we can't have that anymore. All that is gone. I mean, the people that are still here still love them, but just think about all that love that those people spread that they can't spread anymore and that's what hurts the most, I think, is just the love loss. I mean, I just think about all the people that I love and I love them so deeply. I don't have a lot of people in my life, but the ones that I have, I love them so much and if anything happened to them, I would just be distraught and I wouldn't know how to continue and I'm sure there's a lot of people right now that are feeling the same way and it was just such a cruel act that had no place in our society and it's just a psychopath. It's not because he was a man, it's not because of toxic masculinity, it's not because of his beliefs, it's because he was a psychopath and we need to find a way to make sure that psychopaths don't get their hands on dangerous weapons like that. He was already under investigation by the FBI, he went into a place and asked for body armor that was strong enough to stop police officers. This is coming from a guy at a store that sells Teflon body armor. That guy had come into the store and asked for body armor that would protect him from police officers. If that is not a red flag, then what is? Are we not looking out for each other in this society? Love is our biggest resource and people need to start loving each other. If that person cared about what that guy was going to go do, he would have told somebody because he would have been scared that that guy was going to stop somebody from being able to love another person and that's what it all comes down to love is our biggest resource and we need to spread love and share our love with as many people as we can and it was an attack on a gay club and those people are the least judgmental out of anybody in our society they don't judge people because they know what it feels like to be judged and it is such a huge loss that we lost those people and I feel so bad and I'm so sorry for all of that I mean I'm not a big proponent of the Bible, but there is this one verse in the Bible that I like a lot, and it talks about love. I want to read it real fast. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but always rejoices with the truth. Love always protects. Love always trusts. Love always hopes always perseveres, and love never fails. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 8. And that's like the best thing in the Bible, I think. And it's all about love. Everything is about love. And people just need to learn to get past their ego and just start loving everybody. What's the big deal? Love everyone. There's nothing that's stopping you except your ego and your backwards beliefs. And this needs to end. And people need to start realizing what is good in life. And what is good in life is love. And now I want to share with you guys a poem that my wife wrote and she is my one true love and I love her the most and this was awesome. She wrote this poem right after what happened in Orlando and I want to share it with you guys. The world is at war with each other it seems over sex and money and different beliefs. Pride overrides compassion in most of our hearts. Is being right worth the human race being torn apart or is it all due to an emptiness exploding from within? Is it a deep feeling of void, nothingness, and misled envy that we have renamed sin? Hating someone else for being themselves hurts far less than taking down our stowed away insecurities off the shelves. These things you could say are all part of the human condition. However, I think we need to get rid of some backwards traditions. Traditions of separation, judgment, and shame. Stop thinking with outdated beliefs and start using your brains. I mean, that encompasses pretty much everything that I have just told you. Stop thinking in backwards ideas. Get rid of that stuff and just give yourself to love and love everyone and accept love from people and you're going to be a lot happier. Orlando, I love you. I love everybody. I love you guys that watch my videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like my stuff, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.